Zambides goes through to the final. How do you fancy these chances against Gurkhan Oskar? Well, um, watching both guys tonight, uh, Zambides did get uh, an A camp, so uh, it showed that he can be dropped. But uh, Gurkhan, uh, I believe, is not fighting 100% again today so far. Let's hope that he turns around on the final up to fight 100%. If he does, it'll be an excellent fight in the final. If he doesn't, it will be a one-way traffic again. Well, it is, it is at this stage shaping up for a Zambides Ozcan final. But there you see Zambides just absolutely unloading on Hamid. Prince Hamid really had nothing that worried Zambides. He's got no stopping power, Hamid, against uh, Zambides. He just can't seem to uh, stop the onslaught. There's the body shot. That beautiful left body rip was textbook, and it sent Hamid down. We are ready to roll third and final round of action. Prince Hamid taking more strikes okay. than a builder's touch, touch, union, touch. but he is still here. Touch, touch. Okay. Okay. They touch Fight. gloves and Norman Lou gets us underway. Tarek Solak ringside with the voice Michael Chavello, the hammer Mark Castanini. A1 World Combat Cup from the Vodafone Arena. Another big body shot right hand to the head. Solid combo there from Zambides. Turning back kick to the midsection from Prince Hamid, trying to take the wind out of him. Zambides wants to launch the right hand, wants to go for the big Saganaki. High left round kick from Zambides. The big Saganaki. You gotta love it. Now you're killing me, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Saganaki, all right. Uh, Zambides just jumped up and done a jumping, turning round, spin kick. And he came back with a big right hook that missed the target. Oh, the big oh, overhand oh. right. That, no, no. that was the big Dolmada's hammer. <laughs> Zambidi's turning it on once again. Power-laden shots from him. How much more can Prince Hamid stand up to? Big body rip again from Zambidi's. Don't hold. That's a warning for holding. Official Can't warning there from one. Norman Liu. Okay. Great, right. great referee in there. He should. That's great because we don't want the fight to stop. We want, we want the fight to go on and we want to see some action. Zambidi's more hooks than a tackle box. Then goes for the overhand right. Really the only shot that I could see Hamid pulling out that might phase Zambides is a rear uppercut and he's just not throwing it enough. Step through rear uppercut, left hook. It's easy for me to say sitting here, but it's probably harder for Hamid to do in centre ring. High right round kick from Zambides. Can Hamid set up for his head kick or his turning back kick? The seconds are ticking down. Zambides is in control. Overhand right, he's got more punch than a high school prom. Another overhand right, the cranium cracker, the headache maker. Turning right hand to the jaw. High right round kick, catching the kicking leg. And it might be a point deduction here for Hamid. No, the Another official warning, warning there, the Tarek. Yes, uh, some, of these, some of these guys coming from different martial arts backgrounds. It was very wrong what Hamid done. He shouldn't have grabbed that leg and continued like that. Well, Hamid should get a standing count here. He's asked the referee to stop it because of a blow to the nose. And maybe he should have received a count for that. He should have got a count for that. You can't, you can't say You can't just call a timeout whenever you like. Right. Overhand right and here comes Sam Oh, Hamid needs to let it all go now. Zambini's going to finish him off if he doesn't. Oh, the overhand right, the body shot. Zambo! Zambo! Keep working, keep working. Prince Hamid getting tagged in his heart. He's taken on south Two. of the border. Three. Oh, Hamid complaining that he got... He got oh, a low blow. He got a, a, Hamid complaining it was a left hook to the jugular reason, region down below. Well, Tarek, how did you make of that one? Hamid oh, feeling a little testy after it. I don't know what to say anymore. This fight's become a real entertaining fight. It's a great third round, and I'll tell you what, I reckon Hamid is holding his ground against a great fighter like Mike Zambides. He's holding his ground, but he's got to have something more, Tarek. He's got to pull something out of the bag. It's been an excellent fight. Um, I think the headhunter had the best knockout so far. Then again, Mike had a good knockout on the uh, first fight. 
uh, the biggest heart goes to Prince Hamid. The biggest heart definitely goes to Prince Hamid. He, he fought like a warrior. He fought a great fight. I reckon, I reckon the headhunters had the knockout of the year. Sensation. Let's go for the century hammer. It's century. only four years old, the century. Let's go knock Best out of the century. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that's been about half a dozen by the headhunters since he's been fighting for oh, in Australia. It has. Great head kicks. And against a great karate fighter, which is an expert on kicking, like exactly. uh, Sergei Evshaw, that beat uh, Peter Graham in the heavyweights. So he goes on the middle and he beat Peter Graham in the heavyweights exactly. with, a, with, with a kicking art. He gets knocked out to the head on it with a kick. That tells you a lot. Tells you a lot about the head The A1 is going to discover a lot of great things. Okay. Judge Kelly Seif scores at 30 27. Judge Jamal Hassan, 30 26. Judge Mark Corey, 30-25. It's a unanimous points decision. It's going to the red corner. It's Mark Sanders. The blockbuster. The dream final is set. Giancarlo Tag versus Mike Stanley. It is the one you've been waiting for. It's going to happen. And folks, coming up next, the heavyweight grudge match. The fans have packed Christoffi and the one man game.